We're looking at polynomial division today. My first example is a polynomial divided by a monomial, one term that's not div uh, separated by addition or subtraction. A simple example of that would be 2x plus 4 over 2. When I'm simplifying 2x plus 4 over 2, I can divide 2x divided by 2 to get x, and 4 divided by 2 to get 2. So I can do the same thing over here with this uh, example. I can take the 5ab, divide it into the 5a squared b. So I'm going to do that first. 5a squared b divided by 5ab. And when I do that, 5 divided by 5 is 1, b divided by b is 1, and a squared divided by a is a. The next term is the 15ab cubed divided by the 5ab, and that's a negative, so negative 15ab cubed divided by 5ab. 15 divided by 5 is 3, a divided by a is 1, and b divided by, or b cubed divided by b is b squared, so I have minus 3b squared. And then my last term is plus the 10a cubed b to the fourth divided by 5ab. 10 divided by 5 is 2. a cubed divided by a is a squared. And b to the fourth divided by b is b cubed. And that's my final answer here when I'm dividing a polynomial, many terms, by a monomial, one term. And terms are divided or separated into addition and subtraction, or separated by addition and subtraction. My next example is using polynomial long division. Uh, if you remember dividing numbers, your first step was to divide. The second thing you did was multiply the number by what you were dividing by, to put that underneath. Then we subtracted, and then we brought down the next one, and then we repeated. So when we're dividing the trinomial here is what's going to go inside. And my x minus 5 goes outside. When I do this, I'm going to ignore this, and I'm going to ignore these. And I'm just going to look at x squared divided by x, because that's what I can figure out right now. So x squared divided by x my first thing, x squared divided by x, step one, is equal to x. Okay, so when I do that, I get x, and I'm going to line up my like terms, so x goes on top, and then we multiply the x times the x minus 5, so x times x is x squared, and x times negative 5 is negative 5x. And then we subtract. And when I subtract a polynomial, I have x squared minus x squared. That's 0x squared. And negative 2x minus negative 5. So minus negative becomes plus positive. Negative 2x plus 5x is 3x. And then we're going to bring down our negative 15. So then I repeat the process. I'm going to divide 3x by x. 3x divided by x is equal to 3. So I put a positive 3 on the top. Then I'm going to multiply 3 times x. I get 3x. And I multiply 3 times negative 5. I get negative 15. And then I'm going to subtract that polynomial. And that's 3x minus 3x is 0. Negative 15 minus negative 15, that becomes plus, is also 0. So when I have no remainder, that means it's a factor. And my final answer is that it's x plus 3 is my final answer. Let's go ahead and pause the video. And let's try that second problem. You're going to get a remainder. So turn the video back on once you finish and you get your remainder. So you should have set the problem up like this, x minus 1 
x squared minus 3x minus 15. x squared divided by x. x squared divided by x is x. x times x is x squared. And x times negative 1 is negative x. And then I'm going to subtract. So this is going to be 0. And negative 3x minus negative, that becomes plus, gives me negative 2x. And I bring down my negative 15. Now my next division is the negative 2x divided by x, which is negative 2. Negative 2 times x, negative 2 times the x, is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2. Then I'm going to subtract. So negative 2x minus 2x, that becomes two, negative 2x plus. And this becomes negative 15 minus 2. So the 2x's cancel, and I get negative 17, which is my remainder. So we write a remainder as a fraction. x minus 2 is the whole part plus negative 17 over what I divided by x minus 1. Or I could write my answer as x minus 2, and instead of writing plus a negative, I can write minus 17 over x minus 1. Both answers are the same. Here's our next example. This is kind of a funny looking problem. It makes us think that we should be multiplying them. But what we need to remember that it, x to the negative 1 power is equal to 1 divided by x, which means that 5 minus t to the negative 1 power is equal to 1 divided by 5 minus t, which really makes this t squared plus 3t minus 9 over 5 minus t which means I'm dividing by the 5 minus t. To keep it consistent to the way I've been doing the problems previously, I'm going to rewrite 5 minus t. 5 minus t is equal to negative t plus 5. The 5 is positive, the t is negative. That way, I have it set up exactly like the other problems I did. So negative t plus 5 goes into t squared plus 3t minus 9. And let's see, we go t squared divided by negative t is equal to negative t. So that goes on top of my t. I like to keep my variables lined up. And I multiply negative t times negative t gives me a positive t squared. And negative t times 5 gives me a negative 5t. Then I subtract, and I end up with plus. 5t, the t squareds are 0, so I get 8t, and I bring down my 9, minus 9. And 8t divided by negative t is equal to negative 8. So I put my minus 8 on the top, and I multiply negative 8 times negative t, gives me positive 8t, and negative 8 times 5 gives me negative 40, and I'm going to subtract the whole polynomial, so that changes this to a positive 40. The 8t minus 8t is 0, and negative 9 plus 40 is a positive 31, which is my remainder. So I write my answer negative t minus 8 plus my remainder over my divisor, negative t plus 5. Or if I wanted, I could write it as 5 minus t from the original problem. This example deals with having a coefficient on the divisor, this 2 on the y, and a missing term. So we're going to write down the 2y goes on the outside, and on the inside we have 4y to the fourth. We're missing the zero, the x cubed term, so we're going to add in the 0. It doesn't go 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 in my exponents. I want to write a 0y cubed in there just as a placeholder to keep everything lined up. And then finish the problem, negative 5y squared plus
plus 2y plus 4. So I'm going to start just like I did the last one. I'm going to divide negative 4y to the 4th divided by 2y. So negative or positive 4y to the 4th divided by 2y gives me 2y cubed. So I'm going to put that on top of the y cubed. 2y cubed. And 2y cubed times 2y gives me the 4y to the 4th. And 2y cubed times negative 1 gives me minus 2y cubed. Then I'm going to subtract my whole polynomial. So 4y to the uh, bring down my negative 5y squared. Then I start over 2y cubed divided by 2y is just y squared. So plus y squared. And let's see, I get y squared times 2y is my 2y cubed. And y squared times negative 1 is minus y squared. Then I'm going to subtract. So 2y cubed minus 2y cubed is 0. Negative 5y squared minus negative, that's going to become a plus. So 5y squared plus y squared is negative 4y squared. And I'm going to bring down my plus 2y. So now I'm taking negative 4y squared into 2y. So negative 4y squared divided by 2y is negative 2y. So minus 2y up top. Negative 2y times 2y is negative 4y squared. And negative 2y times negative 1 is plus 2y. So when I subtract that, I get 0 and 0. And then I bring down my 4. There isn't going to be a constant because 2y doesn't go into 0. So this 4 ends up being my remainder. And my final answer is 2y cubed plus y squared minus 2y plus 4 over 2y minus 1. And that's my final answer.